All right, first grade. So today we're going to be telling time to the half hour. We're going to answer this question. How do you tell time to the half hour on a clock that has only an hour hand? Okay, so I'm on page 549 right now. I want you to go ahead and turn there with me and do this page with me. All right, so it says circle four o'clock five o'clock or between four o'clock and five o'clock to describe the time shown on the clock. So here we have a clock and we can see where it's pointing, right? I want you to go ahead and choose one of these three options. Is it pointing directly to the four so that it's four o'clock? Is it pointing between four o'clock and five o'clock or is it pointing to five o'clock? Go ahead and make a choice. Okay. Then go down to the next one. Same thing. I want you to look at the clock. Look at where the hour hand is pointing and make a choice. Four o'clock, between four o'clock and five o'clock or five o'clock. And then do the same down here. Make one choice for where the hour hand is pointing. Okay. When you're ready to correct, I will show you. So, this first one here is pointing directly to the four, so I know that it is four o'clock. This next one is pointing kind of between the four and five. So I'm going to put between four o'clock and five o'clock. And then this last one is pointing directly at that little, that little five line. Okay. So I'm going to circle. I'm going to move this up a little bit <laughs> so I can write on here. I'm going to circle the five o'clock. Okay, how'd you do? All right, let's move on. All right, I mentioned this in my first video from yesterday, but if you haven't already, definitely go to Brain Pop Junior and log in with Elrod first, and the password is first with a one at the end, and watch these two videos, Parts of a Clock, and time to the hour. Those are definitely gonna help you this week as we learn about time. Now on page 550, it says, as an hour passes, the hour hand moves from one number to the next number. When a half hour has passed, the hour hand points halfway between two numbers. And then this little bubble up here says that our hand is halfway between the seven and the eight. Okay, so we see the hour hand is pointing between the seven and the eight. So that what you're going to write when the, when the clock looks like that, what you're going to write is half past seven. Okay, so go ahead and trace it so you get used to writing half past seven o'clock. All right, now let's go down here. It says, look at where the hour hand points. Write the time. Okay, now I'm telling you right now, they're all pointed between two numbers. Okay, so on this clock, we see it's pointed between the one and the two. So that means that it started on the two and it's moving towards the larger number, right? So if you get confused about which number to write, um, about what time to write down below, just think about how it used to be on the one and now it's half past the one, okay? So I just kind of gave you number one. Number one, you're going to write half past. Ooh, I hope I can fit it on here. Half past one, colon, zero, zero, one o'clock. Half past one o'clock, okay? Now you try the rest. Try number two, 
try number three and try number four on your own. Then when you're ready, move on to page 551 where we have some continued practice. It says, look at where the hour hand points, write the time. Um, so yet again, all of these hour hands are pointing between two numbers. So you're going to write half past the time. Go ahead and do number five, six, seven, and eight. Then when you're ready, move on to number nine. Number nine says Maya starts reading at half past eight. Circle the clock that shows the time Maya starts reading. Okay, so there are three options here. You're gonna circle the time that shows half past eight. There's only one. Then on page 552 for number 10, we do have a math on the spot video that goes with that. If you have a QR code reader, you could watch that. It would help you out. And it's a pretty fun problem. So it says, Tim plays soccer at half past nine o'clock. He eats lunch at half past one o'clock. He sees a movie at half past two o'clock. Look at the clock this clock over here. It says write what Tim does. Okay, so it gave us three different times, half past nine, half past one, and half past two. What time does this clock show? And it also told us what he was doing at each of these times. So match the correct time with whatever he did in the word problem. I'll read it one more time. Tim plays soccer at half past nine. He eats lunch at half past one. He sees a movie at half past two. What does Tim do in the time that the clock shows? Then when you're ready, move on to number 11. Number 11 says Tyra has a piano lesson at five o'clock. The lesson ends at half past five o'clock. How much time is Tyra at her lesson? Circle your answer. It's either half hour or hour. And then when you're ready, move on to number 12. What time is it? Circle the time that makes the sentence true. So we look at the clock. It says the time is, and then you have to choose one of these three options and circle it. And then you're done. Great job with your math today, first graders.